Welcome. We are still on the section of setting up additional options. Now, we are still making use of an example that uh, we had set up earlier. We Last uh, section, we talked about notifications and cancellation policies. Now we're going on to the confirmation page. Under the confirmation page, uh, there are a few settings there, but if they are set up correctly, they would be very helpful for you. Here we have the first part which talks about when a confirmation is made. A person is booking and they get to the confirmation page. See it on the screen, the confirmation page. Here is where we set up the links that appear there. You can just display the regular confirmation page, which is the Calendly confirmation page, or we can redirect to an external site. So you might have a confirmation page that you have set up uh, on your website, and you might want to use this as a landing page for someone who has finished a booking and you want to offer them something else. So it would say, thank you, uh, would like to offer you this, this and that, or you can go to our site or this is our site, click this link and see this video. You make use of this redirect to an external site function. So you can put the external site here. You can even pass the event details. This is actually a new uh, feature that was added recently. You know, the confirmation details that you get on the original Calendly page, uh, you can pass these details just by clicking this and then uh, you set it up in such a way that these details appear on your web page. More details on how to do that can be found on the learn more section. After you do this, uh, generally I would like to use the regular Calendly default page. You can also add custom links to your default page like the Calendly uh, page. You can add uh, a custom link where a person can say after they've booked and they've received their confirmation page, there is an option where they can click to say, I want to go to uh, your website. Uh, you can put an extra link to a certain video. They can click it there. So you can add several links there. You can add another one rather. Uh, let's just say, for example, a uh, web page. And we say www dot and we click add. We can also add another one just by clicking add custom link. So we can turn it on or off. So after doing this, all we have to do is to click save and close. This is how we add the confirmation page. We can use the default confirmation page or we can build our own confirmation page and then redirect a person to get there. And we also saw that we can actually pass on the details of that booking so that they appear on that confirmation page. See you in the next lesson where we're going to talk about how to collect payments.